A couple things, housekeeping. If you haven't registered for family reunion yet, register starts a week from today. Um, best training event in all of real estate. Um, please take my word for it and just register. And if you need help registering, drop your name and your email address in the chat and I will reach out to you and help you get registered. Okay. John, maybe, so, uh, quarter four stats also? Quarter four, quarter four stats. Eddie, yeah. would you do me a big favor and share the link for that in the chat? That would be great. Absolutely. So for everybody who's in South Florida, the Waxman Group is... Uh, Every quarter, we'll put together an incredible stats presentation. And uh, for every agent who's a part of the Waxman Group, this is one of the benefits of being with the Waxman Group. And quarter four stats is this Thursday. <coughs> Go the dogs. And if you haven't registered yet, absolutely register. Okay, they'll stop in just a second. All right, so I'm in the 12 week year. And I'm just going to recap uh, where we left off last week. And then I want to get into what I prepared for you yesterday. Um, so here we go. All right. Page 86, common pitfalls to pursuing your aspirational vision. I'm going to go through this quickly, and then I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to go dive deep. Page 86, common pitfalls and success tips to pursue your aspirational vision. Pitfall number one, you don't take the power of vision seriously. Now this is especially true for high D personalities or type A personalities because we don't slow down. And sometimes you have to slow down in order to go faster. And we're so focused on getting into action that we don't slow down and actually to actually create a plan and slow down you need to slow down in order to speed up pitfall number two the vision isn't meaningful to you does your vision give you passion is it important to you if it's not then it's not going to drive you through tough times keep looking for that powerful meaningful vision Pitfall number three, your vision is too small. If you're thinking small and you're aiming small, I promise you, you're gonna hit your goal. And that's not a good thing. Pitfall number four, you don't connect your vision to your daily actions. You need to know every day as you're in your daily activities, activities, what is work? Work is 20 conversations, not 19, not 17, not 18. So when you're in those activities, you need to be able to connect those activities to your vision. Super important. All right, success tips. Number one, share your vision with others. And I would tell you, share it with everyone. The more people you share it with, the more dream champions that you're going to find on your journey and the more accountability you have. Success tip number two, stay in touch with your vision. Stay in touch with your vision simply means put it where you can see it. And I want you to look at it all of the time. So in your office, it should be on the wall right in front of you. Put a copy of what that vision looks like in your home. Put it on the bathroom mirror. So when you're getting dressed in the morning, you're looking at it. When you put it, put it on the refrigerator. So when you go to open the refrigerator and eat junk food, you're looking at your vision. Maybe that'll stop you from grabbing the junk food. Live with intention. All right, that's my message. I want you to live with intention and here we go. Intentional actions if I'm building a real estate business. Number one, and as a real estate trainer and coach, I get asked all the time, what's the blueprint? What's the blueprint in order to build a successful real estate business? Here's the answer to that question. Number one, load your sphere of influence and your past clients into command. By the way, if you study this book, Gary Keller would tell you, and nothing's changed since this book was written in 2003, Gary Keller would tell you, build a database, feed it every day, communicate with it in a systematic way, 
service all the weeds that come your way. Hmm. Now, listen as what, I, what I'm sharing with you and you're gonna hear that message. Load your sphere of influence, your past clients into command. Number one, and that simply means put everybody you know, everybody know who knows you and likes you and would work with you, that's your sphere of influence, into command. Put all of your past clients into command. Alex, that's a message for you. I'm the gentleman who called you and wants to buy a home. Get him in command, right? Right, Alex knows I love him. All right, add one new Met every day to command. That's feed it every day. You're feeding your database when you add one new Met contact into your database every day. And that's the friends and family script. Eddie, I like to keep my friends and family members updated on the market. That simply means I send them market updates once every month and I call every three or four months just to check in. Would it be okay if I added you to that group? Now, if you had that conversation with 20 people today, would one person say yes? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. So then if, if you know the answer to that question is yes, and you're working 250 days and you're having 20 conversations every day, could you, should you add one person every day to your Met database? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Now, how many of you, just type I have in the chat, how many of you have added 250 people to your database in the last 12 months? We've got 62 people on the call. How many have added 250 new Mets to their database in the last year? Now, if you haven't, don't, don't stress over that, just start today. All right, number three, market to your bet database using a 36 touch smart plan. This is an intentional plan. I've added everybody to my database that I know. That's my sphere of influence. I've added my past clients. I'm adding one new Met every day. And now I am going to market to everybody in my database using a 36 touch smart plan. Number four, three to four hours of lead generation every day. Lead generation is 20 conversations and one appointment schedule, whichever comes last. Now, if you look at lead generation that way, how many of you would lead generate different? Would your lead generation look the same as it did yesterday or would it look different? If I told you the definition of lead generation is 20 conversations and one appointment scheduled, whichever comes last. How many of you would lead generate different? Yeah, I see hands going up, 100%. Every day, 20 conversations, two-way conversations. Schedule at least one appointment every day. Write five handwritten personal notes every day. Be, oh boy, and he just jumped on the call. Be Craig Sarnoff. Craig, can you take yourself off mute? Is that, can we talk? All right, I know he's on the call, but maybe he can't talk. I'll talk for him. Hello, John. Craig Sarnoff. Yes, sir. How many personal notes did you write in 2020? Um, 2,500, 3,000. 2,500, 3,000. Craig Sarnoff, how many real estate agents are part of your Realtor to Realtor referral network? Thousands. Thousands. Not sure. Thousands. Yep. How's that paying off for you? It's, it's took a long time, but it's starting to pay off. Define starting to pay off. Tell us what that looks like. Um, I got 11 referrals in the uh, last six weeks. There, right there. 11 referrals in the last six weeks. Raise your hand. 
if you would like 11 referrals in the next six weeks. Yeah, <laughs> Craig Sarnoff, every hand on the call just went up, Craig Sarnoff. <laughs> every single hand, just be Craig Sarnoff. <laughs> Craig, thank you for jumping in there. You're welcome. You inspired others to greatness. You inspire me. Thank you. You're welcome. Convert buyer leads to in-office buyer consultations. CITO, CITO, C-I-T-O, come into office. Think CITO when you get a buyer call. The purpose of a buyer call is to convert it to an in-office buyer consultation. The goal of a buyer call is to convert it to an in-office buyer consultation. How do you do that? Master your conversations of real estate. Number five, practice and role play the conversations of real estate until you can't get it wrong. Mastery is practicing something not until you get it right. Mastery is practicing until you can't get it wrong. And when you have mastered the conversations of real estate at a level where you can't get it wrong, you're going to convert more leads to appointments and more appointments to buyer agreements and more listings and more sales. Number six, go on seller appointments every day. Get face to face with a seller who's thinking of selling their home, <laughs> whether it's in a week, 30 days, six months from now or a year from now, because it doesn't matter. Get face to face with one person every day who's thinking of selling their home. Number seven, follow up forever. All right, quickly, intentional actions in order to build a successful real estate business. Load your sphere of influence and your past clients into your database. Number two, add one new met to your database every single day. Number three, market to your database using a 36 touch smart plan. Number four, three to four hours of lead generation every day. Lead generation is defined as 20 real estate conversations and one appointment booked, whichever comes last. Number five, practice and role play the conversations of real estate until you can't get it wrong. Number six, go on seller appointments every day. Number seven, follow up forever. All right. <laughs> Take yourself off mute and talk to me. I want to share something and I did and it's helped me, me a lot. Sure, Lorena. I put, let, let me take the, the background. So I, I put the seven decisions that I have personal success in a canvas. And I read every day to my husband to share with him. Some days I forget, of course, <laughs> but I'm trying to do every single day. And that's helping me a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. You know, from the book, uh, The Traveler Gift. Mm. So this I have in my, in my office, in my house, and I read every single day. And it's like an habit that I'm doing every day. And I wanted to share because it's so simple and helps a lot. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you for sharing that, Lorena. John, can I share? Please. Um, I'm taking from the 12 week year, um, doing the pitfall for number three. And it says, to be most effective, your vision should make you feel uncomfortable and challenge you to do things differently and do different things. And it makes me think of the conversation that we have in bold is be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm. So every day I know if I haven't felt uncomfortable, I'm not doing what I should be doing. Love it. Mm -hmm. Great job, Chandra. Proud of you. What else, guys? Tell me, what did you hear? 
if you play this video back, because I know we went fast and we went too fast to take notes, I get that. If you play this video back and you write down the seven things, actions that make up an intentional game plan to seek your aspirational vision and you execute that plan exactly the way I read it to you, what would that do for your real estate business? Where would you be a year from now? Where would you be five years from now? John, I think it goes to the question, are you connecting your vision to your daily activities? There it is. There it is. Do you ever get to a place where you've just got, there go the dogs. Do you ever get to a place where you've just got it, where you know everything, where you don't, you don't need to learn anymore? Do you ever get to that place? No. 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 One word to describe you. What would that one word be? If you ask me, what's the one word that describes you, John? My one word would be student. That's why I'll always be here. Because if I'm a student, where else would I want to go other than the number one training and coaching company in the world? Yeah, and so they all tie in together um, because success tip number two, stay in touch with your vision. You have to stay in touch with your vision. And I liked how you said, you know, at my office, I have my vision board, but I need to have it at home in the kitchen. I'm going to include that you know, because that's so important because you, we can't, we can't lose touch with that vision because we'll lose touch with why we're, what's our purpose. Great job, Camille. Great job. Yeah. Write your goals down. Make sure you can see them. If you just do those two things, you're ahead of everybody because most people don't even have goals, much less write them down. All right, give me one more. We're going to check out. I think about what Chandra said about being uncomfortable. Um, it's a big, big deal. And I've learned when you do things you don't want to do, it's usually for your own good when you do it. Mm -hmm. Good job, Michael. Yeah, I leave that uncomfortable feeling for last, the last thing to, at the end of the day, and I shouldn't be doing that. That's the only way I'm going to get listings, you know? There you go. Absolutely. And you're growing. And as long as you're growing, you are moving forward and you're making progress. And you're going to be better at what you're doing 30 days from now. You're going to be better six months from now. And what scares you today will be easy a year from now. Those uncomfortable conversations will just become reflex. When you move to unconscious competence, what scares you today becomes easy tomorrow. All right, I've got 856. Let's get to work. Don't All right. Forget, what's work? Go Sarah. What is work? 20 conversations a day, not 19, not 18, not 17 conversations. When I have 17 conversations, because it's close enough, I have settled. That 18th conversation could have been a million dollar listing that I did not get. And the worst part is I never knew because I didn't make the call. Do not settle. Go Chandra. Purpose of the call is to make care calls, not sales calls. Always lead with gratitude. Remember to say, Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate you. Bring value to every single conversation. Go, Diane. Every day every, in every conversation. Nope, focus Diane's on, there. Diane's there. Chandra. No, that was me. Oh, that was me. Go ahead, Chandra. I'm out. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every day in every conversation, focus on getting one face-to-face -face appointment with someone that wants to sell real estate. Getting a referral, adding one person to my database. Go Shoshana. That non-negotiable standards live up to those standards. 20 conversations a day is a standard. One face-to-face -face appointment per day is a standard. Adding one person to my database every single day is a standard. Go, Melissa. Find someone today that is thinking of buying or selling real estate, whether it's three months from now, six months from now, or one year from now. It doesn't matter because I'll need listings and buyers a year from now. I'm looking for opportunity period, not opportunity today, opportunity period. Go, Sarah. Because I have entered those 250 people into my pipeline, I follow up with them forever. I reject rejection. No is not a word that lives in my vocabulary. No simply means not yet. Because I followed up every single day, I have created emotional proximity. People do not make, people do not change their minds. They make new decisions based on new information. Since I have emotional proximity, when they made a new decision, a new decision, they hired me. I keep calling because success is absolutely guaranteed. Make it a great day. Awesome job. Awesome. So awesome. You, Thank you. Ladies, you're getting Thanks, better everyone. and better at that every day. You yep. absolutely are crushing that. I'm super proud of you. Okay, I saved the chat. For those of you who dropped your email into the chat, I will be reaching out to you. There was a few of uh, the agents that are on this call that are outside South Florida that were asking uh, if they could attend stats on Thursday, of course you can. I will send you the link so that you can jump in there as well. And uh, 8.30 tomorrow morning, I forget what time we do this. 8.30 tomorrow morning, I am looking forward to seeing all of you. For those of you who are in my market center in Coral Springs, don't forget it's team meeting day. I know that's a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, since we are in bold, team meetings are on Tuesday, not Wednesday. So remember today at 11.15, I am looking forward to seeing you in our team meeting, Coral Springs. Okay, make it a great day. Awesome. Thanks, Make it a great day. Thanks, John. Bye, Thanks, everybody. everybody.